Hello Retro Gamers and Collectors, it is Old Gamer Network back with my, um, my own personal thoughts on emulators. When I first, before I started um, collecting um, retro games, I was actually like, dead against anyone using emulators and my opinion was based on like, I think something like seven years ago and I saw um, NES games like, I even saw a little Samson for like 4 99 complete and this was at a, a store in Leeds called Arcadia which I know it's been changed as something else and get and I saw NES games loose cats like 199, 299 and, and I even saw Super Nintendo games and I, the way I saw it was what I saw last year before I started seeing the prices and stuff the, um, I thought you don't really need to use emulators when the games are so cheap which turned out how wrong I was because <laughs> uh, my original plan was to collect for the NES Super Nintendo Saturn because I always seemed to have a bit of a sauce but even though I didn't own one for some reason back in the day I was more of a PS1 and I had an N64 as well but I didn't get the Saturn for some strange reason but I'm really glad I got one now anyway and um, the other console which I was planning to get alongside with the Sega side of it was the Dreamcast which I did have one of them in, in the um, when they came out. The first Dreamcast that I had conked out after about a week, and I took it back and got another one <laughs> to replace it. So that was my original plan was to have two of those <coughs> Nintendo games and two Sega. Until I saw the prices on Nintendo side of it, the NES and the Super Nintendo, and I thought, no way in hell am I going to be paying those prices. And it made me start to think on emulators side of it. Because before, and I thought, you don't need to emulate when you can buy a game so cheap. And they're not cheap. I think the cheapest one I've seen NES games are like 7 or 8 quid. I know Smash TV, cheapest when I saw that Super Nintendo, the PAL version, was about £6, loose cat. And for that, you can buy a, a complete box for the Mega Drive for that price. So, so I ended up basically scrapping my ideas on the NES Super Nintendo and I began to understand why um, we needed emulators and under starting understanding that in the future all this what we've got is going to completely die off I mean, not, and the emulators are going to be the only way to gain and also I think Cloud, cloud Gaming will take a part in it as well so that is the um, so now on emulators, I'm for it, and I use uh, is it Open EMU or something? Yeah, it's called Open EMU or something. If I'm pronouncing it right, and that has a bunch of emulators, and I've got all the um, Super Nintendo guns what I used to have, and and on the NES, a friend used to have that. I never owned that, and because back in the day, I had the um, when I was a kid, I had the um, BBC Micro, which I actually don't have anymore. Um, we got a family. We had a Atari console we used to share, which is actually upstairs in the attic, <laughs> which I could do with having that. I know one of the games is mine, Frostbite, which I bought for the Atari 2600. But I ended up destroying the box, stupid of me, when I was a kid. Um, I had the um, and I had the also had the Atari ST, which I eventually upgraded to the Amiga 1200, and then I started as well getting into consoles as well. And I ended up with both the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive as well. Which, but the Super Nintendo was my main one, and I used the Mega Drive for exclusives for Sega side of it. So, so now if, and also when I was against it, if I saw anyone using Emily, I would actually unscrub the channel. That's how much I used to hate people using it. But now I'm actually for it, believe it or not, because I, I understand a lot better. As being a collector myself, and even um, you know, prices. Even I put a limit on prices. What I pay for, like the mass system, I always base it on the game, the artwork. Actually, because I want I want it in a box. I want, I'm not into buying loose cats. Even though I do have loose cats, which came with my system, and I've got games like Cycle Fox, which is loose in there, and that came with my master system, which I got. I got a really cheap price. And what else? And the mass and the mass system was in. I know mass system wasn't in my original plan, 
But I'm glad I did start collecting masks because I do like the system. Even though I don't have a mask collection and it's and in my mind it's nearly finished, there's only a few games. Because I've got about 40, 40 odd games. Which isn't a huge collection by any means. But it's a, a reasonable size for me anyway. <laughs> so um and the emulator is what I use as well. I use I have all the regulars like your Super Nintendo, NES. I don't have an arcade because you can't run arcade games on Apple for some reason. And what else? And also um I've got your your Turbo Graphic 60, which I never owned that back in the day, and I've try I try all that, and I use my um, Pro controller, which I've actually, even though I don't have a Wii U, I've still kept this because it has the um, gold Pro controller which I use for emulators through. Um, oops, I can get it. And I, I hooked up to my um, Pro Wii Pro. Um, Control. <laughs> I just hook it up to that. So, and I just um, use that when I play it. Which I know it's not the same thing as if you got the real hardware, because I rather play them like the mass system. I rather play it on the main system. But that's uh, my personal thought. Which I know it may not be a great in depth, but oh, if I could turn back the clock like seven, ten years, I would. I would buy an NES and Super Nintendo I'll just buy all the games up so I can't believe how especially that little Samsung was so I can't believe how much it goes for now like is it like three or five hundred quid or something and I do remember um, what's the other one Panic Restaurant Panic Restaurant if I remember right yeah Panic Restaurant and I saw a loose cut of that for about two ninety nine. and I can't and I really wish I bloody bought them up <laughs> anyway I've, this is just like a quick video and it's not a, a great in depth, but that's my own like a little opinion. So anyway, and I've also um, and I've been oh yeah, no that's not, I'm gonna start waffling now. I'll add this onto it anyway. <laughs> um, I know I've just been to car boot today. I was gonna go to two, but I was too buggered, knackered, because I was doing roadworks outside ready for that Tour de France cycle race, which is coming through my street, <laughs> which is a kind of pain. So I was too buggered. So it takes me 50 minutes each way. Uphill as well, going there. Downhill coming back there. I went to my local car boot today. And they, and I asked, and there was a bunch of Xbox 360 games. And I was only interested in Battlefield 2, bad company. And she wanted 10 quid. I don't know whether to laugh or what. <laughs> and I didn't bother trying to haggle. I didn't even look at the condition. Anyway, I'm waffling on off the subject now. So I'm for emulators. So you got a thumbs up for emulators. So I more than understand why people use it, and I know in future, all my um, I'm soon all my systems will die out. I'll probably as reckon the Xbox original Xbox will probably die out before my master system will, but because I know the um, I think the Sega machines are more reliable. Nintendo's probably the most reliable anyway. Anyway, that I'm going to call it for now, and I will see you. Um, next Sunday for a pickups video hopefully I'll find something decent at Car Boot as well I've already got some brilliant games more Xbox goodies though so if you don't like Xbox you don't need to watch it <laughs> anyway I'll see you then bye <laughs>